Hey, Tom Rabbit, I hope you got this for your recording. Hey, YouTube out there, Tom Rabbit likes to record these. Hey, Tom Rabbit. I'll look into it. What do you think about Job then? With God just persecuting Job for like a test for Satan, what do you think about that? Uh, where did you, where did it says that God persecuted him? Well, not persecution per se, but well, that's what you, well, like, well, wait a minute, that's what you just said. You just indicted the God of the Bible, the creator of the universe, as persecuting Job. And then when I said to you, where'd you get the idea that God was persecuting him? And then you just say, oh, not per se. Well, you just said it. Well, I, I, I'm sorry. I didn't mean it exactly like that, but okay. from, from my God, understanding. God, God permitted Satan to temporarily afflict Job. And? Um, why why would God do that? Why would he do that? I don't know. Him. Are you, are you, are you a Christian? Uh, no, I, I was just wondering. Okay, well, why don't, why don't you become a Christian? And then when you die, you won't go to hell. And then you can ask the Lord why in that specific instance, he, he allowed Satan to test Job. I, I wanted to ask you, but I, I, I will don't try you, that. Don't you, also, well, don't, also, don't you, you want to ask, don't you want to ask God one day? Yeah, you'll be I able mean, to even talk to be, you, you got listen, but you got to be on the team. But you don't want to be on the team, do yeah. you? Yeah, you'll you'll be able to talk to Job too as well. Yeah, and by and by, and by the way, by by the way, by the way, okay. Um, I'm not trying to be disrespectful. Of it. I'm I'm sorry. People and maybe you could um, talk to Job's kids, probably. Yeah, well, people, well, I mean, people well, have affliction. Well. Every every human being has some type of aff affliction, both in instance and duration. Some people it's longer, some people it's it's shorter. Okay, and God has His sufficient reasons to allow the good, the bad, and the ugly during the unfolding of His redemptive plan of human history. Okay. And I don't know the answers to, um, like, for example, I had a brother-in-law who died, okay, in his late 30s of cancer. That's sad. I'm, I I'm sorry. I, 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 I don't, no, no, I'm not, I'm not saying that for you to feel sorry for me. I'm just saying that's a close relative that died. And I don't know why. And he was, a, he was a Bible believing teacher. I don't know why God took him at that age, why he suffered with, with cancer. And then, and then he, and then he died, but that doesn't indict God. Okay. Any more than, it, than if we would say, if Adam stubbed his toe on a rock. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I wasn't going to be rude or mean about it. I was just like, since we were on the topic of uh, God and Judas, it was just kind of like, I, I always think well, about Job when it comes to that situation. God, God allows a lot of unpleasant things throughout the course of human history as a constant and persistent reminder for human beings not to love this present world and to seek to be right with God in the next world where we'll be happy. Okay. But even even when God does allow the good, the bad, and the ugly as motivators, still the vast majority of humanity still won't repent. Okay, which goes to show you the wickedness of the human heart. Why, why do you think we have this wickedness? Because you choose to be this way. So we are we're born with a sin inclination, but the degree to which we reinforce it, okay, or feed it, is our choosing. Right. And right now you're in rebellion against God because you're not bowing to Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior because you want to be the Lord of your life. Why do you choose it? Because you want to. So what, what would make me want to choose Christianity over atheism, per se? It, well, first of all, atheism is completely absurd and incoherent upon examination. Christianity, the Christian worldview, is the only... A true worldview, and it's the only coherent worldview. What about someone like at like an um, uncontracted tribe, or someone born like Native American that have like the Great Spirit? What what happens to them? Well, what what you're doing right now is you're invoking a worldview body double rather than defend your atheism. Because what, what's both, a, both, both uh, the Christian double, world, so the, the, a worldview body double. In other words, rather than get your worldview, you know, bruised and injured in in the battle of worldviews, like a Hollywood stuntman, 
you're going to appeal to another worldview that is not your own. That's a stunt double. And let that, that get pounded rather than uh, argue your atheism against the Christian worldview. If you really had the least bit confidence in atheism, you wouldn't be bringing up, you know, the, those people and tribes and whatever their spirit beliefs were. Because you believe already they don't have a basis for it. Because you're an atheist, right? I, I wouldn't say that I'm an atheist, but I'm definitely yeah, just here wondering. Here we about go again. Let me explain to you, you are, okay? If you don't positively believe in God, then by default you are denying God, even though you say, but I'm not denying God. Because if you don't acknowledge God as creator, if you don't acknowledge God as the precondition of all contingent facts, right? Then you will consequently believe that facts exist and possess intelligibility independently of God until shown otherwise. Okay. Okay. So, so you are in fact denying God by affirming something that logically is inconsistent with the existence of God. Okay. If P, therefore Q. If Q necessarily follows P and you affirm P, then you're affirming Q as, as well, okay? And so how does that apply to atheism? Well, if you don't positively believe that God, all facts that are not God derive and depend upon God, right? Then you will believe that those facts exist within the context of independence from God. And if you believe in the independence of facts from God until shown otherwise, then you have denied God. Okay. If P, then Q. P, Q. What, what about uh, being an agnostic? Um, what, what are your that's, views on that's no, that's, that's, that's no That's no different. As Madeline Murray O'Hare, the founder of American Atheist, peace be upon her, may her soul rot in hell forever, said agnostics are just atheists who are cowards. I mean, what, what's wrong with that, though? Like, what if you what's could just with, admit it? What's wrong with being a coward? I mean, yeah, the world is a scary place. Like, I don't blame people for being scared in their worldview. Well, then they, then they should shut up. Okay. They shouldn't say anything then. In their rebellion against God, just shut up then. But they shouldn't sit there and going, I'm not saying that God doesn't exist. I just lack belief in God. That's just gobbledygook and double talk. I it's mean, what if they believe it though even though it's what you claim gobbledygook like okay listen could that still be the case okay. uh facts in order to be a fact requires context okay unless of course the fact in question is eternal and ultimate from which all contingent facts derive what so is ultimate? It, it, what is ultimate god how, how do you determine that god is ultimate though because he revealed it. Um, if you how, don't mind me how, asking, how, 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 did how, how, all, how did he reveal himself? Through yeah. every fact in creation is indicative of and revelatory of God because God planned it that way. Romans chapter one, ever since the beginning of the creation of the world, God's eternal powers have been clearly seen through what has been made so the men are without excuse. OK, so because there are individual facts, then there there's going to have to be something that is that is ultimate, because without there being something that is ultimately eternal, uh, concrete, absolute, then you couldn't have any facts at all. OK. OK. Now, it's, it's because you believe that there is at least one or more foundational parameters that are not subject at any time to change, that you there can be facts like the Eiffel ta ta Tower standing in Paris. And you're more than willing to believe that as long as we don't uh, reference God because you don't want to be judged by God. But if it's some non-mind, non-agent, vague absolute from which all you know uh, contingency, contingency derives, well, you don't have a problem with that. I, I wouldn't necessarily say that's my problem with uh, okay. faith and belief. Do, do, but do, that, you that is positively, do you positively believe that all the facts that you're acquainted with um, depend upon God? 
and, and I, I would say, and I'm not trying to like anger you, but I, I honestly wouldn't know. Like I, did I, I ask I think, you if you know? I, I thought you did. I'm sorry no, if I missed that. I said, that. do you positively believe that God is the necess the eternal necessary precondition of all contingent facts? Creator, do you positively believe that all facts depend upon God? Um, like I, I, I couldn't say. Like I, I really wouldn't do know. Do you so. positively believe? Did I ask you if you know? I like then again, like I, I don't did even I understand what the question know? is. Did I ask you if you know? Um, I think you did, but I could no, be wrong. No, I'll repeat the question again. Do okay. you positively believe? that God is the necessary precondition of all contingent or temporal facts. Do you positively believe that? Uh, then again, like, I, I honestly don't know. I'm not trying did to... I ask, did either. I ask you if you know? N no. That's right. I asked you, do you believe it? Okay. Do you I, positively I, believe that there are 50-pound boulders of gold on Mars? I mean, I would have to believe that there's a teapot up there, too. But then again, I, I wouldn't know. Okay, I want all of the believers to take note. What we see on display here. How old are you, sir? Um, 26. Okay, I thought you were a lot younger. You sound a lot younger. Okay, I want I everyone to take note here. This is the atheist syndrome. They're just pathologically circuitous. They're pathologically obfuscating, they're pathologically being deceptive and evading the simplest of questions. This is their shtick. This is their go-to method of operation. It's answer questions that weren't asked. Do you positively believe that there are 50 pound boulders of gold on Mars? I mean, I would believe that as much as there being teapots okay, we're on done. Mars. We're, 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 we're done. I, I didn't mean to anger you. I'm sorry, Dar. Bye, little boy. Uh, Darth, I had a question for you. Yeah. How many times can you ask a 26-year-old young man a straightforward question and we get back a response that an ADD 14-year-old would answer? Darth? Is that, hold on a second. Is that how you answer your employer when he asks you a straightforward question? Well, all, you, all you have to do is say no. You don't hold that positive belief at this point. Just say no. It's not you know, that if hard. If your employer said to you, were you late? Were you late to work this morning? Well, you know, it all depends on what you mean by late, sir. You know, uh, maybe the clocks were working, maybe they weren't. Were you late to work this morning? Well, what do you mean by work and what do you mean by late? I, I wasn't trying to be like your, that. Okay, you, now you're lying. Oh, you're already on the list. How not that interesting? I, I wasn't trying to be on a list, Darf. I'm sorry. If you want me to say no, I'll oh, say no. No, no, you've already been previously muted. You're already on the list. So I, I did not right mean to be, to be like this. Uh, I no, now you're lying. Now, did everybody see the, the one deception after another, after another, after another, after another, after another? I told you, they are pathological liars. Who? I, I think it's so ingrained Atheists. they don't even know they're doing it. It's just like how they speak. Hey, it's Darth. so ingrained in them to... They are so well practiced in giving circuitous, evasive, uh, ob ob obfuscatory an answers, prevarications. They're so accustomed to doing it, they're not even aware of it. By the way, did you get that Tom Rabbit?